Hey guys, Chris Rowe here. Today I'm going to give you a quick demo of my new script called Expression Toolbox. I'm really excited about this one, so let's get right to it. What we're going to do is uh, we're just going to walk through the steps of actually finding an expression that we want to add to the toolbox and then applying it after we add it to the library. So for this example, I'm just going to grab one of Dan Ebert's expressions off of his uh, motionscript.com. Uh, this one's called Squash and Stretch does a pretty cool little wobble effect using the scale properties. Okay, and we'll just copy the expression and we'll jump back to After Effects. Uh, you'll notice I've got a simple composition here. It's just got two text layers on it. Uh, we've got Expression Toolbox docked in a dockable UI palette. I have it behind the comp window. So uh, what we need to do here is just add and the name of this can just be squash and stretch. The author is Dan Eberts. Uh, we don't have a group for this one because it works well on its own. A uh, simple description can be make your layer move like jello. And we'll paste the expressions and we'll change the default property to scale. And that's it. We just hit add. It updates the library, and at the very end, we now have Squash and Stretch. Everything we've entered is right here. Okay, now that we've entered that, let's go back to our comp window, and uh, we'll just select Expression, the uh, first text layer, and we'll go back and Apply. And if we go back and hit Play, we see that our Expression text layer moves like Jello. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's that easy. Now, uh, I should mention that you can, at this point, export what I call gadgets. I'm trying to keep in theme with the uh, expression toolbox. Uh, so you export a gadget, and what that is is just a specially formatted string, which contains uh, name, author, group, you know, everything that you would add. You'll be able to go into a web form or email it, and uh, people will be able to just copy and paste it using this add gadget function. They just paste it right in here, and the script will actually uh, decipher all of this. And when you click Add, it brings up an Add Expression dialog box, and it's got all of the properties split up, and it's ready to go. And if you click Update, it would actually add it to your library. And real quickly, I want to show you how Retrofit and Apply works. I think this is a uh, pretty powerful function, so I think it's worth showing. Okay, uh, what we need to do here is find a expression that references a layer properties such as position, opacity, scale, or uh, whatever. Uh, one I have already loaded here is one by Dan Everts. Uh, it's called Swarm, Swarming Layers. Which, uh, yeah, we'll just do Swarming Layers. Okay, and uh, in the expression you can see it references a layer called Master. Uh, in our current composition we don't have a layer named Master. Okay, so what we want to do is select Toolbox make sure that's the layer we want to uh, modify and we'll go back to expression toolbox and we'll click retrofit and apply this brings up our retrofit dialog box and uh, we've only got one option available here because there's only one line in the expression that references a layer property and this one is called master we don't have this in our composition so uh, what we have here is a list of layers that are in our current composition since we're modifying toolbox we want it to look at expression for a position so with uh, one selected and our new layer selected we'll click update and we get what we wanted it's referencing the expression position so now we can just click apply expression let's go look it's got a swarming behavior based on the uh, position of our target layer there are a lot more advanced uses for this but uh, for this quick demo I think that was a pretty good example of what you can do it does require a little bit of uh, thinking beforehand but it definitely simplifies uh, converting expressions into your workflow and uh, that's pretty much it for the expression toolbox I think it's extremely powerful and uh, thanks for watching the demo